new NBC News uh, Wall Street Journal poll is out on different politicians and agencies and movements. So there's just a poll on modern politics, basically. Um, so let's take a look at this. Uh, you see the total positive rate there, total negative, and then how much they're above water or underwater as well. So the FBI is uh, 34 points above water. The FBI has a very positive... People have a very positive view of the FBI, uh, even though I would argue that's not very wise because the FBI is, uh, you know, they're like any intelligence agency. They're the deep state. Unelected bureaucrats who have way too much power. Uh, look at, for example, I know this is going back in history, but I'm sure there's stuff in recent history where they did similar things, but they try to get Martin Luther King to kill himself uh, because he's too powerful and he's... Uh, He's, okay, whatever, we'll give you civil rights, we'll give you voting rights, but now you're asking for fucking workers' rights? We, you should kill yourself. We see all the affairs you're having. God forbid your wife finds out about this. They threatened Martin Luther King and said he should kill himself. That's the FBI. They have a 34% above water approval rating. Um, Joe Biden, 54% positive, 22% uh, negative, which means he's 32 points above water. The Me Too movement, or excuse me, uh, I skipped one. Barack Obama, 57% positive, 29% negative, so 28 points above water. Uh, the Me Too movement, 37% positive, 10% negative, so it's 27 points above water. Oprah Winfrey, who has to be added in all these polls because we're silly people, um, because people were floating the idea of her for president after a speech she gave at a fucking award show. Um, 48% positive, 24% negative, above water, 24 points. George W. Bush, holy shit, is 20 points above water. 46 positive, 26 negative. You know, look, man, these things, this annoys me so much. So much. I mean, you have a guy who crashed the fucking economy. You have a guy who waged an illegal war against a country that didn't attack us. We're still occupying that country to this day. Killed minimum 200,000 civilians. Set up a warrantless uh, spying network that spies on all Americans, gets rid of your Fourth Amendment rights. Um, a guy who did torture. And we just now we're, we like him. 46% uh, view him positively. Only 26% view George W. Bush negatively. When he left office, he had like a 26% approval rating. I... Time, unfortunately, heals all wounds, even when it's war criminals, which is fucking infuriating. Robert Mueller has a 28% positive uh, rating, 14% negative. He's 14 points above water. Then you have Mitt Romney, who's uh, underwater, one, uh, one point, 29% approval, 30% uh, negative. Paul Ryan... Uh, underwater five points, unsurprising. Big corporate sellout. Uh, Mike Pence, underwater six points. Donald Trump, underwater 20 pointsington. Holy fuck. Holy fuck, sacks. 20 points underwater. Uh, Mitch McConnell, underwater 26 points. <laughs> uh, nobody likes Turtle Boy. Nobody likes that guy. Um, for understandable reasons. He doesn't give a fuck about you either. Steve Bannon, I love this. A total positive rating, 5%? <laughs> he has a 5% approval rating. Oh, that's, that's the best thing I've ever seen in my life. 5% approval rating. You want to know why that's so low? Because he lost all the MAGA people. Ever since the fallout with that book and the stuff he said about Trump and, oh, maybe that meeting was treasonous with Don Jr., Ever since that, he lost all the MAGA people, so all the Trump supporters, who were his strongest base. So now there's only 5 percentage uh, that left to support him. 49% have a negative view of him. So he's underwater 44 points. Oh my god! Oh my god! My god! <laughs> okay, and, um... <laughs> you know, look, man. Have you noticed something about this poll? This is now the second time we're having this conversation where it's a big national poll. That's getting a lot of coverage, too, by the way. Who the fuck is missing? The most popular politician in the United States of America, Bernie Sanders. Why is he missing from this poll? Why is he missing from this poll? Why is he missing from this poll? Look, I say that you know why he's missing from this poll. I don't need to tell you why he's missing from this poll. The establishment is against him. 
they don't want to give you even the hint of an idea that maybe he can run in 2020 and maybe he could win. Because there's no other argument. You say, oh, you know, maybe it's age. Age? Joe Biden's on the poll. Joe Biden is, what, one year younger than Bernie Sanders? Trump is old as fuck. He's, what, three years younger than Bernie Sanders? It, no, age is not a fucking argument. That's not a point. How are you going to put Oprah Winfrey on the poll when all she did was give a speech? Bernie Sanders already ran for president. There's the hashtag Bernie would have won because of all the evidence that says perhaps Bernie would have won. Uh, he's the most liked politician in America, literally, according to every other poll. No matter how you ask the question, he wins that by far and away. So you're going to include Oprah Winfrey because she gave one speech, but exclude Bernie Sanders even though he's the literally the front runner right now. They're, doing, they're trying to bury it, man. They're going to try to bury him again. That's what they're going to do. He's been trying so hard to build the bridges and to show, like, oh, I'll do the unity tour with Tom Perez. See, I'm willing to play ball. I'm willing to, um, you know, help the Democratic Party. But he's doing, Bernie helping the Democratic Party is contingent upon them getting it. He's trying to, okay, you got, sorry, but you have to be in favor of Medicare for all. You have to be in favor of a living wage. You have to be in favor of fighting against um, income inequality. You, sorry, but you have to. So he's leading them. And it's contingent upon that, but the Democratic Party has staunchly refused to give in to his framing as, oh, this is the direction the party should go. They're hanging on, clinging on to neoliberalism with every fiber of their being. And the media is like, ah, come on, to fucking suppress the movement. Don't feel the burn. Stop. Fucking keep them. Get them off the pole. Get them off the pole. Because <sighs> you know they had to be sitting in a boardroom. Hey, who are we going to put in this poll? And somebody was like, oh, we got to put Bernie, and everybody's like, no, we're not putting him. Why are you not putting him? Because they're part of the establishment. They are elites. They're in that circle in Washington, D.C. And the word is coming in from uh, Democratic Party leadership. Shh. Try to use the power of the media. Just act, do, do the, act like they're not a thing. Do the move of indifference. How many times have we spoken about this in the context of Great politicians who are running for office today. Allison Hartson outraised every other candidate in the race, including Dianne Feinstein. And the media is like, uh, that she's not the most prominent opponent. Kevin DeLeon, the establishment guy, he's the most prominent opponent. What? Paul, how many articles have you seen about Paula Jean Swearingen? Joe Manchin routinely says, fuck you to Democrats across this country. Routinely votes with President Trump for deregulation, for allowing coal to pollute the water. How many times have you seen articles of Paula Jean Swearingen? You haven't seen them, have you? Because the establishment loves Joe Manchin. So they're going to try to put the fire out when the candidates are not taking corporate money and they're really populist left and they're going to fight for the people and they're going to try to do Medicare for all and a living wage and end the wars and a new New Deal. The Democratic Party wants to be Republican light and the media emboldens that version of the Democratic Party. So they're going to, shh, shut up. No Paula Jean Swearingen, you know, uh, no Allison Hartson, no Amy Valella. Don't talk. Amy Valella, the person who she's running against, Democratic politician, found that he, he was involved in some way or another in a sexual assault scandal. He's stepping down. He's like, I'm not going to run for re-election. The articles that point out that he's stepping down don't even mention Amy Valella. Amy Valella's Running for office, her daughter died because we don't have Medicare for all. They saw her, oh, okay, whatever, your leg swollen, something, get, we're, you're stabilized, get out. She died. She died because they're trying to move her along. Oh, she doesn't have that much money. Maybe she's not insured. Move her along. Get her the fuck out of here, whatever the case is. Um, so Amy's like, holy shit, my daughter died. And this, it's because the system is broken. So she's running for Congress. Her daughter died because we don't have Medicare for all. She's running on a platform of Medicare for all. You would think you would include her as a candidate when you're discussing the sitting congressperson stepping out. They didn't mention her. They didn't fucking mention her. Because this is their new plan. They have a few different angles that they're going to attack this from. Another one is Howard Dean when he talks about Bernie Sanders. He's like, you know, Bernie's old and I'm just saying I'm, I agree with millennials, which is why I'm against Bernie. 
No, millennials overwhelmingly want Bernie Sanders to be president. What the fuck are you talking about? But the bait and switch is, oh no, I agree with millennials, and millennials, we should have, therefore we should have millennials elected. Forget Bernie Sanders, I'm not going to support him. That's one of the tricks. This is the other trick. Total indifference. Total indifference. They know, and now they know, hey, the negative coverage actually makes these people stronger. Because people see through the bullshit and they go, I think you're full of shit, establishment media. So I'm going to back this politician even more now. They caught on to that. Fuck, when we try to smear them, it doesn't work. It backfires. So now what do we do? Indifference. Uh, they, they don't count. They're not even there. I don't know what you mean. Hear no evil, see no evil, talk. I feel the who? What? I don't know what you're talking about. I, I, who's Bernie? I don't even know who Bernie is. I don't know who these people are. So that means you need to be more involved. You need to get the word out more. You need to fight for these candidates because nobody's going to do it for us. In fact, they're working in the opposite direction. They're working against us.